All right, guys. Why don't you tell me what you think about this trailer? Repainted it. Put a new awning on it. Did custom work on it. Put some new decals on it. Painted the wheels. A new decal, one of the Monterey. There's the other type that I put on. Added the spare. All new LEDs, all new roof vents. Electric roof vent with the fan in the back, anyways. This, the, the vents, new front light. Painted the door, put an amber light in it instead. Painted the door, replaced a couple windows that were broken. Added new stairs. Uh, painted the bumper. It's all uh, rubberized paint undercoating. There's the other side. Painted the wheels. Added all black extras on the outside for electrical and the doors. Water drain. Uh, added a new box for the water. Let me know what you think. Got LEDs all installed and everything. Got a battery box coming tomorrow and a cover going to be on the propane. A new battery inside is going to go in the box. So, let me know what you think. I'm going to go on the inside and the entire roof is coated, rubberized roof coating. Uh, I'll have to get up there and see if I can at least get up to where I can. I don't know if you can see anything, but what I'll do is, maybe, well, I'll have to show it later. Anyway, so I'm going to remodel the inter interior completely. It's clean, but I would like to upgrade it. Um, I installed uh, new mini blinds. I've got some more coming. I'm going to change the colors of the inside. As you can see, I've got all my stuff everywhere, but ripped all the old curtains off the walls. I'm going to replace all the mini blinds. Uh, he finally, I'm going to repaint these. Don't know what to do with the cupboards yet, but they are in the point at the point where they where you rub them and it flakes off. Not the doors. The doors are nice and smooth, but the outsides of the of all the cupboards they flake off so i don't know if i'm gonna what to do exactly with that um let me get all this stuff out of here as well but it's in really good shape just want to do a remodel on the whole thing bathroom got some different stuff coming but I installed this new fan, so it's nice and new. Got, I installed all new LEDs in here. All the ones underneath here, every one of them inside are all uh, new LEDs. But uh, yeah, so. This is going to get a new remodel. I would like to upgrade everything. At least remodel everything. The fridge is still good, but obviously needs to be upgraded, updated. Stove works great. All everything works great. Water and everything. Pump is underneath here. Water tank. Underneath here, I've just got uh, storage. So, it's got a stereo system in it, but I did take the original out. I'm going to put a new system in it. Um, yeah, so, anyways, just wanted to show you before pics and video footage of the camper. It's actually in really nice shape. I just don't know if I want to paint the cupboards. 
that's my idea is change all the material and paint the wood or what I should do because this stuff it's nice but it's flaking off that's all you can tell it's not real I mean it's it's like a skin um, it's really clean everything works as it should Um, the only thing that doesn't work is uh, is the uh, I need to hook up the propane to the fridge. I disconnected it. The furnace works. It's got central heating. No AC, but the AC units here uh, connections here. I'm supposed. I mean, I think it goes right here once it's um, installed. I would put it right here. But the heating does work really well off the propane. That table flips up. This this huge area right here folds into a bed. So, I mean, it looks like about a king-size bed. The material's nice. But I'm thinking about covering it with, with uh, new covers. Custom covers. Because um, I definitely want to change the color. Anyhow, this is before. I should have... My mind made up pretty soon, I hope. That way I can make it look a little bit nicer. Maybe new, up to date. But this is the inside, and I just showed you the outside, so I'm going to probably paint that door black. Since it's black on the outside, I'll do it black on the inside. Got no broken glass. Floors are good. Ceiling's good. Um, coated on the outside. It's nice on the inside. Electrical's all nice. LEDs, everything works great. Um, the awning is freaking beautiful. The awning, I'm really impressed with the awning. Um, why am I not using the steps? Because I just didn't pull them out. Um, however, oh jeez, I just stepped right in the mud. Um, they do work. Let's see, they do work. I just getting in the habit of not not using it. It snaps into place right there. Anyways, so that's the outside. And I'm, I'm gonna pull this awning. Show you the awning real quick. So, release that. Release this one. It only took me about an hour to do all the awning because I had to actually go and and uh, clean the the roller and it had the original awning on it uh, that was ripped I'm trying to reach this strap it did get dirty because I sprayed it off it so usually I do that and then I just lift it up this this actually rattled. There's a knob that goes in here. It actually rattled off going down the road. So I'm going to be getting a new one. Soon. Meanwhile, I'll just put that pin right there for a minute. Wasn't really expecting it to be dirty up against the up against the uh, camper on him. Or the camper. Um, see this knob over here. Pulls it out. And you can select the hole. I'm gonna put it in. Just got these here. Take this and it snaps up there, which extends the awning completely out. And like I said, it took me a couple hours to do this. 
because this awning here was just completely trashed and it had the original uh, awning on both sides so I pre-cut it I just go up there with the rag and wipe that off it's just dirt anyhow um, I do have some some little clips that go in here to hold my lights and I just usually hang this up so it stays off the ground but let me show you it's off looks like it's got some leaves on top turned out really really nice nice and smooth nice and tight I probably do need to pull it down on this end a little bit there's like a little yeah, it probably just needs to be pulled out and then re-screwed down out there. I'm going to grab a rag and wipe all this stuff down. And then I'll show you again. I put a new roller on the door up here. So that doesn't injure the roof awning. And I've got this little latch on the side that holds the door in place. Yeah, so... I wouldn't even mind pulling that screen off and putting a nice tinted black screen on there. Cleaning up, maybe changing that magnet out. But you see how I painted it. So I'm going to go and paint it the rest of the way on the inside. Paint the door. Tighten up the handle. I'll probably take this apart. And tighten up that ring that's holding that on there. It just takes a little bit of time and... To get everything working to where it's tight again but it's got the oversized tanks on the front <coughs> i painted them and cleaned them up so they would look a little better but uh, dual tanks they work really good <coughs> excuse me so anyways here's the new camper remodel anyway Old camper, new remodel. Alright, so we will. Oh, yeah, I've got also uh, when the night comes in, I added a nice little feature um, under lights that come on. I can change the colors, I can do bright white, and they're done by remote. Pretty neat, and I will show that also once it gets dark. Thanks for watching. I wanted to show you guys the roof up here. So there's the roof. All rubberized. You see a lot of crap falling from the trees though. So that's what it looks like up on the roof.